So aside from Sylvester Stallone being canceled because he wanted to play golf and it happens to end up being in a place where Trump owns, we got some good news. Godzilla vs. Kong broke even and is now making profit at the box office. Like, this is great news because this is the first film since the pandemic, at least the first blockbuster film that I know of, to actually make money at the box office. It is also now the highest grossing pandemic film, crossing Tenet. That's impressive. And in two weeks, it did that. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to cross 500 million by the end of its run, I think. Maybe at least 400 over. At least that. Because this is great news. Its breaking point is that of 330 million and it crossed 500, not 500, 357 million dollars. Now, that's kind of around, I, I want to say 20 ish or between 18. In thousand, eighteen million dollar profit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not thinking of the math much. I just know it's around that number, and so now it's making profit. But since it's off the pandemic, I don't think it's gonna make a whole lot of profit. But the fact that it's also doing so well on HBO Max tells me that people are ready to go watch a lot of movies now, especially big ones like Godzilla vs Kong. Now I'm pretty sure. People want to specifically watch Godzilla vs. Kong because it's Godzilla vs. Kong. Two of the most iconic movie icons of all time. Since the early 1900s, these guys have been popularized in cinema. To the point where they are absolute legends in some of the most groundbreaking films that set the standard for what monster movies should be to this day. I mean... They're iconic. So it's no surprise that this is going to make money. It's a no-brainer. But since it was during the pandemic era, it is even more impressive that I was able to overcome that. So for the filmmakers that are able to make this film possible, congratulations. You earned it. I really enjoyed the film. Con you, you deserve all the praise and all the money. It was that good. I cannot wait to see you what the future holds for the Monsterverse since it is now a success and I, I'm just excited to see what happens next. Thank you guys so much for watching, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.